In this video, I'm going to cover the features of distributed training that apply to both multi-GPU and multi-TPU training. Lightning has a flag called Replace Sampler DDP. In multi-GPU and multi-TPU training, you have to specify a sampler so that your data set will be split up across all the GPUs. Note that you're not actually moving the data across the GPUs or TPUs, but instead you're moving pointers to the data for each GPU and each TPU. By default, Lightning uses the distributed sampler provided by PyTorch, which sets your shuffle flag to true for train and false for validation and testing. By default, you don't have to add your own samplers, but if you want to customize this behavior, set replace sampler DDP to false and then pass in your own sampler to the data loader. For iterable data sets, we don't replace a sampler automatically. Lightning has a flag called prepare data per node. If you want to download data while you're doing distributed training, you don't want to download it on every single GPU. But in some cases, if your nodes have a shared file system, you want to make sure that you only download the data set once. The default case of Lightning is that it downloads the data once per node. If you want to change this behavior, set it to false. You would change this behavior when all of your nodes share the same file system. In addition, there's a hook in Lightning called prepare data, which is designed explicitly for this purpose. So you can download a data set, process it, and save it to disk, or do whatever other operations you need. Lightning will call this method on only the master GPU of the master node if you have this flag set to false. And if you have it set to true, it will call it on the master GPU of each node. Lightning has a flag called sync batch norm. In multi-GPU or multi-TPU training, batch norm will only be calculated on a single batch per individual device. In reality, you want to calculate the statistics across every single GPU or every single TPU. In this case, you can set this flag to true and batch norm will be synced across all devices. To use this, just set sync batch norm equals to true. This is recommended if you have small batch sizes. 